So hey everyone and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to use a shake once again except that this video is an advanced version and so I'm going to be showing you how to exactly use it and what each of its settings mean. As you can see I've already got my clips right here, two clips from Attack on Titan Season 3 and I've already added a basic scale effect. So the first one has a scale in and the second one has a scale out. If you want to know how to do smooth scales then check out my video, link will be in the description below. But once you have these scales on your clip what you want to do is search for the s shake effect so simply just type in s shake and it's going to be the one underneath sapphire distort what you can also do is download the preset i have made link will be in the description below it's basically s shake except it has none of these settings added to it but we are going to add the original s shake for now so now let's take a look at the settings so the first one is called amplitude and that's basically the amount it's basically how far it will go and frequency is literally the amount so how quick it's going to be used so the higher i set the amplitude Amplitude, the uh, more further the bounce will go. If I set the frequency higher, it will be even quicker. And phase is simply just picking out a different like phase, if it makes sense. But we are not going to be using that. Anyways, the first thing we are going to do is set the frequency to two because I'm trying to go for a really smooth shake, not like something that's really quick. Next up, what I'm going to do is keyframe the amplitude right here, and also do make sure that it's set at one. Next up, what you want to do is move a few keyframes ahead. I did say a few keyframes, but you can go right to the end if you want to but we can do that later so i'm just going to go about 10 keyframes ahead and then set the amplitude to zero next up what we are going to do is make the amplitude a bit smoother so if you click the arrow next to the stopwatch this will come up click on the last keyframe and then you should see this handle pop up click and drag on the handle all the way to the left but also pull it up so that it's on the same level as the like bar next to it on the right as you can see right there if I just let go it's on the same level as you can see if I did not put it on the same level it's going to look really weird so it's going to look like that you want to make sure it's completely smooth once you have done that you will see this like arc at the beginning and what we've actually done here is make it like decelerate anyways the next thing you want to do is pull the keyframe all the way to the end only the last one just pull that all the way to the end of the clip and now if you scroll down you're going to see a shake over here and what you want to do first of all is set the rand Amp and also the run frequency to zero so random basically means random and i don't really like using it because it creates a shake that isn't really like smooth it does not look like a shake because its values are completely random in some way if that makes any sense so instead of using the rand amp or ran frequency we're going to use the wave amp and also the wave frequency as it makes it seem like an actual bounce rather than just like an earthquake so yeah once you've set them both to zero you want to set the wave amp to something like 25 let's say but it really does depend on what you're trying to create in fact i've actually already created my shake which is what you saw at the beginning so i'm just going to really quickly look back at it so as you can see for my x shake i have 25 and then 1 so yeah I've already put 25 I'm also going to put 1 and also before I do go any further I want to explain what the X means and of course the Y and the Z so X is basically horizontal and Y is vertical and then Z is how do I explain it's basically like backwards and forwards I'm not sure what the word is for it but with the Z shape what you can do is create a scale type of bounce kind of like this on the screen right now so yeah anyways back to what we were doing so yeah once you have done that you just want to leave it as it is we are now going to be moving on to the Y shake which is vertical so I'm going to change the rand amp to zero and also the rand frequency to zero now I want my shake to have a stronger vertical shake to it rather than horizontal so I'm going to set my wave amp to 50 which is higher than my X wave amp and also set the wave frequency to one and now you get something like this now, although this does look pretty decent, I can make it better. We're going to go back into Y shake and what I'm going to do is increase the wave frequency. I'm going to put it at around 1.5 and what this will do is make the vertical shake a little bit quicker like this. If I turn it up extremely high to something like five, you're going to see a big difference. So if you play it back now, you can see frame by frame that it's a very like hard bounce and this isn't really what I wanted so I'm gonna change it back to around 2 instead of 1.5 and it is a little bit better but it's still a little bit stiff so now we are going to open up the tilt shake once again make sure the round amp is at 0 and the same goes for the frequency and now we are going to change the wave amp to something like 2 try to not set this too high because the tilt shake for some reason is extremely strong so I think 2 will do for now and for the wave frequency I'm going to set it to 1 I'm going to check back for my original shake just to make sure that it looks like that. Now apparently I used 1 so I'm going to change it back to 1 and although it does look alright I'm actually going to keep it as 2 because it looks better. I'm also going to go back to my Y shake and change the wave frequency to 1.5 just to reduce that strong bounce and now it looks like this. 
Now, if you do not like your shake, you can actually change it really easily without doing too much. If you head all the way back to the top of the S shake effect and head back to the amplitude and also pull back the last keyframe, the one where we used a graph on to make it really smooth, you can, if you want to, pull this a little bit closer to the right side and also reduce the arc on the left, as you can see. So before it looked like this and now it looks like this. And by doing this, it makes the shake last for a little bit longer. And so if we actually do pull this keyframe all the way back to the end once again and then play it back as you saw there it looked much better than before if we click on the motion blur box the shake will look much smoother than before but i don't really like using it it looks really odd and i'm also on a really low preview so i'm just going to show you on the screen right here on how it looks at full quality with motion blur and without it looks like this but of course you can have it however you want and uh, just experiment with the effect anyways i think that's all to cover throughout this effect now if you download my preset so if i just search up empty shake the one right here i'm gonna drag it onto the second clip make sure that the last keyframe is all the way at the end of your clip you can see that all these settings have been reset so every time you use the s shake effect you don't have to manually change them all back to zero but anyways for the second clip i'm only going to focus on the y shake which is vertical so i'm going to set the wave amp to around 50 and also the wave frequency to one and now if we play it back it's okay but i think it can be better so let's set it to two or if it's too strong i can just change it back down to 1.5 i'm also going to add a little bit of tilt shake the wave amp is going to be one and the frequency will be one as well and there you go we've now finished our shakes now hopefully all of that did make sense to you but if it didn't then just let me know in the comment section below and i will help you out s shake does take a lot of time to learn but practice makes perfect anyways thank you for watching have a great day and i will see you in the next video so yeah peace Thank you.